information control. People within a cult know the least amount about the cult. They're kept from information about it. People outside can go on the internet and find out information. People outside the cult can talk to former members. People in a cult are not allowed to. The other part, though, that keeps people handicapped, that is another technique of control, is that you're not allowed to question what's happening there. You're not allowed to have any negative thoughts. If you have a negative thought, if you have a criticism, if you're upset by something, there's something wrong with you. That's the lesson, and that's handicapping. You also usually have your history rewritten so that when you come to this group that is a cult, they'll very often want you to feel that you were lucky to find them because of the bad relationships you've had with your family, even if they weren't necessarily so bad. And it's one of the ways they make you feel really lucky to have finally found a group of people who care and who can make them feel good and make them feel safe. But most importantly, when you're in a cult, you're taught to not trust yourself. Cult leader needs for you to be dependent on him or her for the answers. So if you can trust yourself and if you can make up your own mind, if you're an independent thinker, you don't need the cult leader in the same way. I remember learning from a woman named Dr. Margaret Singer, who was a professor 